The Earth and the solar system rest in a special location of a remote spiral arm of the galaxy far away from the giant black hole at the center of the galaxy where thousands of stars are drawn to their destruction. The special locations that can let biological life form on planetary surfaces must be far from the lethal X-rays and chaos of turbulent gravitational forces in regions with densely packed clumps of stars and interstellar gas. The Earth's location is a special place called the Galactic Habitation Zone, and the Earth's size and distance from the sun and its intense heat lets life have time to be and become. The visible universe may be about 46 billion light years in size, yet the size of the universe itself is unknown. It is believed that the universe inflated faster than light for a split second like a balloon in the first moments of its existence, or that it grew quickly in some other way, letting all of its locations have equal claim to be the center of the universe since they were all locations equally distant from the space-time origin. When one looks out into the night sky through the lens of the Hubble Space Telescope and other deep-field observational devices, capturing light images going back to more than 13 billion light years of time, the special, equally important locations of everything, though a kind of nowhere utopia were all essential for the subsequent history of the universe that is our human heritage. The philosopher Leibniz inferred that the foundational structure for atoms and matter is the monad, one- and two-dimensional spiritual segments that allow formation of larger structures that seem to be matter and energy in larger phases. That concept is not much different from the philosophical paradigm for membrane and string theory at the heart of matter and of its equivalent energy. The unknown and uncertain reposes within a monistic mystery of one that gives rise to the appearance of a pluralism of quantum components and forms. That mysterious philosophical paradigm of the one and the many is not inconsistent with belief in God and the Son Jesus Christ as creator of space-time and life on Earth through a phenomenal process, perhaps through a Higgs field sent to being for the creation of particles. Consistent with evolution of a progressive history of the cosmos or transcending ideas for time and interpolation by the Lord of intelligent beings within any location in space-time of the universe, God transcends the matter-energy emergent evolution with its general relativity and special relativity characteristics that make time for itself the center of experience. Time may be dated from the inflation or membrane expansion of the universe at time zero, in which the beginning of the universe is regarded as its center. Yet the center of that time equally developed to every place in the universe existing today for space and time are united and indivisible phenomena. God is progenitor of energy matter and or space time is not subject to his project in its space time that floats downstream like a boat on a river that is part of the river itself. God is the intelligent designer of the universe with every place in space-time meaningful and adapted to his physical circumstance.